I tried to get one of those hacker, you know, uh, I don't know, it's a, there's a hacker magazine, 2600 or something like that. I remember trying to get one of those and I'm like, I'm going to be a hacker. I was like, they're the coolest. And, I, and it involved like opening, like shimming up a telephone line and opening it and knowing wires. And I was like, I guess I'll just play the game part. Uh, <laughs> wait, you went up a actual no, in real I, life? No, was, in the well, no. Oh. I, they were like basically in that in that get in that magazine, which I think is still going on. That yeah. they would really show you how to hack phone lines. Oh like, yeah, yeah. In order to freaking free. Yes, with long a P. distance freaking. Freaking. I did that successfully a bunch. Did you really? What? Yeah, I wasn't. I didn't earn it, but I just like I got codes and numbers and things, and I tr I tried. I used it to like call places and not get charged and I called like naughty naughty things uh, <laughs> that that charge you but didn't get charged because I so used you like called this code. sex lines I, ch I just to see how old how old were you Dan how old were you when you were doing this uh, 39 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's like probably like 15 or something 14 you didn't pay these women <laughs> they weren't even women. They were recordings. I will. Uh, yeah. I, I, I was not like I'm gonna talk to a lady. Like <laughs> I don't know how it works. Well, I, never I don't. Did that. Well, I don't even know. I don't know either because I tried it once. I was just like, oh man, all these like 900 numbers that are about sex and stuff. And I was like, but and, and I was like, oh, so can you use these numbers like this system to like call one of those things and not get charged? And I tried it and it was just like. You very quickly found out that it was just, you know, it's just garbage. Like, they're just trying to trick people into paying for what is like a big, long message. You know, can't hang out. Well, if you want some hot, juicy action, why don't you press three? And I'm like, okay, I'll take it hot and juicy. And then, like, and, and it was just like, like, like recordings after a while. It was just like a woman, like, it was like a recording of a woman going, like, uh, late at night, I like to wear my bathrobe and I hope my man comes home and gives it to me. Oh, oh, like, like, it was just, and it was just like a shitty recording. Like, it was all. Like, it's still pretty hot. You figured it out because yeah. I abandoned it the minute I bought one. Well, and then I never did it again. I was like, okay, there's that. And who am I going to call in Hong Kong? Like, uh, like <laughs> really. But I wanted to be like Matthew Broderick, obviously. Yeah, and, of course, uh, everybody yeah. did. Or like a William Gibson that you try to read that you th you yeah. say, oh yeah, I read that, which you didn't. No, I didn't read. Yeah, so it was all Matthew Broderick and uh, Al Albert from Little House on the Prairie and that Whiz Kids show. <laughs> Remember Whiz Kids? Did you just, I never oh watched Whiz Kids. It, was like, it lasted like 13 episodes, and it was like you know at the height of that stuff it was like Ma Max Gale from who was Wojohowitz from uh, Barney Miller played a cop who, who would go to this whiz kid. It was just a total, like, it was just taking war games and saying, okay, let's make a TV show. So it was like a good-natured cop um, going to a analog for Matthew Broderick's character in, in um, uh, fucking, not the producers, uh, war games. Um, <laughs> That would be a different show. <laughs> and there was like a cute, there was a cute Ali Sheedy type that was like his tomboy kind of like hoodie, hoodie wearing uh, girl, fr fr friend, friend, uh, platonic friend. Yes. Um, Until his, the time where she put a dress on, and he was like, Whoa! I, wait, I mean, what do you mean I have to wear a dress and, and let my hair down in order to get <laughs> this microchip uh, from the dance? Um, yeah, and they, would, and they would like he would he would he would hack he would hack his refrigerator like like they show they would show him this is how magical people thought computers were they, like they would show him like typing in his bedroom and then in the kitchen. <laughs> his refrigerator would open and his mom would go, oh, and he'd go, sorry, mom. Like, he's just, he's just, he's just hacking the refrigerator to open. And then, and then he would, like, hack traffic lights and hack, like, you know, he'd just hack everything. But I just read the other day that you could hack a car now because the onboard computers are so complicated that you could actually hack a car and drive it for somebody. Yeah, that's how they killed Michael Hastings. What? Yep. The government killed Michael Hastings because he got too close to the truth. <laughs> yeah, I, re I remember this. I mean, he, yeah, he, what, what, what did he do? He what, just what? did a lot of really, you know, really reaching journalism that uh, put a, you know, uh, revealed a lot of corruption in a. Oh, was that by defense? Moza? The guy who died by Moza? Yeah, no, that's the guy, and it was the big, you know, the big burnt patch of grass. I know, I saw that. Yeah, that's that. the The government released a, a statement that said, Michael Hastings definitely was not killed by a hacked computer or hackers hacking his computer, but just as a completely unrelated public, public safety note, if you were hacked, if your computer is hacked and you are killed, it would look exactly like this. I would reiterate that it is completely... They actually said something along those lines. It's like, this is what it would look like if your car was hacked. It would explode like this. 
it didn't happen. There'd be no way to know if it happened, but we know it didn't happen. So it's just like the most weird, the most suspicious thing anyone could do. If you're out there and you're close to the truth, maybe get a little further from it. That's all we're saying. Yeah. Uh, this guy got too close to a telephone pole. You stay away from the truth. Stay away from yeah. your refrigerator because somebody uh, might be able to hack it. <laughs>